Despite the difference in their ages, Deb Nielsen and Jerry Simmons have a lot in common. My family suffers from heart disease, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, high cholesterol. My mother had three heart attacks before the last one took her away. And while Jeff Howard is a diabetic and Ron Gordon isn't, both have had heart surgery. I tended to think that I was bulletproof and invisible and those people who had complications from diabetes uh, were somebody else. Today, Deb, Jerry, Jeff and Ron try to exercise regularly and watch what they eat. I got to learn to read the labels, looking for trans fats, uh, looking for the sodium. If you or someone in your family has diabetes or a heart condition, the grocery store can be your ally if you know where to look. Start in the produce section and choose a wide variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. These are naturally low in fat, sodium, and rich in cholesterol-lowering fiber. You can also choose frozen fruits and vegetables. If you buy simple ones without any sauces, they can be better choices than canned because they eliminate salt. And that's a must to control blood pressure and manage heart disease. Let me show you what I mean. Most Americans only need about 1,500 milligrams of sodium each day. And in one serving of canned corn, you could get as many as 340 milligrams. In a no added salt variety, you only get 15 milligrams. But if you choose frozen, you could bring that down to zero. I think the healthiest choice is pretty obvious. The dairy section should be your next stop. Always choose low or non-fat dairy items to limit the amount of saturated fat. That's the fat that comes from animals. And do the same when you choose your butters and oils. Check the label. Look for unsaturated fats like canola, sunflower, and olive oil. And aim for only 16 grams of saturated fat a day. Be on the lookout for plant stanols. Those are natural substances that block cholesterol absorption in the intestines. They're good for heart health and are being added to a number of products, like margarines. Be very careful to avoid trans fats. A lot of products claim to be trans fat free, but they could contain as much as 0.5 grams per serving, which could really add up. Check the label. If it says partially hydrogenated or hydrogenated, it contains trans fats. Protein. It's important to your health, but it can also add lots of fat to your diet. So be sure to choose lean cuts of meat like round, chuck, sirloin, and tenderloin. Avoid processed meats that contain plenty of sodium. Skinless breasts of chicken and turkey, also wonderful options. And don't forget to add fish to your diet at least twice a week for heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. And lastly, we need to add some fiber to your diet. You'll want to add some beans and some lentils and other sources of soluble fiber, not only to keep your digestive tract working well, but also to combat cholesterol. Oatmeal is an excellent choice, but if you're a cereal lover, look for a source that has whole grain and a few grams of fiber per serving. Adults need 25 to 38 grams of fiber daily, and cereals are a great way to help meet your needs. For WebMD, I'm Kathleen Zalman.